our class. It's nice to have you guys back in this class. Hopefully, you guys feel the same also. So without any further ado, let's start our class for the night. Give me one moment. Allow me to share the material that we are going to continue tonight. Which is chapter nine, guys? Okay. Chapter nine. All right. Let's close the this. So, guys. So, chapter nine. Still uh, talking about uh, chapter nine about I need help. Okay. And then we'll do the role play. After the role play, we're going to do the uh, grammar of the chapter, which is about future tense. And then uh, we'll do the exercises. I believe you guys already received the PDF. Huh? Okay, hopefully you guys have enough time to uh, review and then uh, answer some of the exercises before we start uh, today, tonight. All right, guys. So, well, let's do the uh, role plays. Okay, I need some volunteer. Perfect. All right. Let's see. I'll have uh, I'll have Dian doing teams dialect number one, two, three, four. And then Miss Lily is doing Henry number one, two, three, four. Nani is doing teams number five, six, seven. And then I'll have okay, because. Hold on, okay. JJ is doing Henry's number five, six, seven, eight. And then Miss Fanny. Miss Fanny is doing teams number eight, nine, ten. Jennifer is doing Henry's number nine, ten, eleven. Okay, Mr. Amin is doing teams number 11, 12, 13, 14. Rudy is doing Henry number 12, 13, 14. Miss Fu. Okay, Miss Fu. Miss Fu is doing teams number 15, 16, 17. And then I'll have one more spot available. One last one. One more spot. Anybody interested? Get the last one. Hendis fifteen sixteen. Well. Let me repeat again, okay, guys. Teams number 12, uh, sorry. Teams number one, two, three, four, taken care by Dian. Henry's number one, two, three, four is by Miss Lily. Teams number five, six, seven by Nani. Henry's number five, six, seven, eight by JJ. Teams number nine, eight, nine, ten by Miss Fanny. Henry number 9, 10, 11 by Jane. Teams number 11, 12, 13, 14 by Mr. Amin. Henry's number 12, 13, 14 by Rudy. Teams number 15, 16, 17 by Miss Fu. All right, so that's it for right now. Uh, okay, and then the last one, uh, I'll leave it. 
on a sign until somebody raised their hands, okay? Whenever they're ready. Okay, give me one second. Okay, want me to unmute you guys, okay? The list background. Good evening, really Miss. Really appreciate it. Good evening, Miss Penny. How's it going? Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Very Jay. well. Thank good you. Evening, Miss. Very good. Nice to hear that. Hopefully, same for everybody. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. Good evening, Miss Susan. Good evening, Mr. Amin. Did you have good your evening. dinner? Yeah, nice. Nice, very good. Okay. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Miss Fu. Okay, there you go. Well, whenever you guys are ready, start with the end. Henry. What are you doing? I have been trying to solve this physics problem for the last half hour, and I still have no idea how to do it. When do you have to turn it, it in? It is due at the end of this week. Well, it is only Monday. Why don't you get some after school tutoring tomorrow? I have to sign up for it first. I guess I will go sign up for the Wednesday session tomorrow. You should reread re the, chapter, the chapter before you show up for the session. It will, it will help you understand the subject matter better. Okay, okay, I will do that. I will do that. Now that your problem is solved, I need you to lend me a hand with my problem. What is up? I need to build a new doll house for Nancy. I was putting her doll house away and somehow I accidentally dropped it. I was going into pieces. How clumsy of you. Does he know? Does he know? I told, I told her about it. I could not lie to her. How did she take it? My sister really like that dollhouse and obviously she was not very happy but i told her that i would build a better one for her so i need your help me help you i have never built anything in my life me neither me neither but i don't worry putting to Putting together pieces of wood is not going to be difficult. I'm that's going to be Jane. Uh, it's more than just putting pieces of wood together. You need to put in windows and doors. Have you talked about how have you talked about how would how you would like how how you would do that? Who says houses need to have windows and doors? So you are going to build a dollhouse with no windows and no doors? Yes, I do I do not see anything wrong with that, do you? No, it makes the project easier to handle now, but are you sure that Nancy will do not mind having a dollhouse with no doors and no windows? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. 
are you sure uh, sorry are you sure that nancy will find this doll house with no doors and no window windows prettier than the then the one the one you block no i am not sure why do you have to make things so complicated i am not trying to complicate it to complete things you did tell nancy that the never doll house would be better than the one you broke i just i just want to remind you of your promise promise ah uh, i wish i have not passed a doll house what should i should i do then get half get half from somebody who knows how to build a doll house i would not be of any help to you in this project <clears throat> Who do you suggest I ask? The Brown used to be a carpenter. He will be help, glad to help you out. Why don't you give him a call and see whether he has some free time? You are right. I will take us for forever to build this door house. With Mr. Brown's help, I can finish it in no time. Okay, now that your problem is solved, can you help me trim the trees in the backyard? Who? Me? Trim the trees in your backyard. It will take it will take us it will take us at this to trim those trees. Let's see let's see who is good at trimming trees. Ah, you can ask Mr. Brown. He is also good at trimming trees. And when you ask for his help, please ask him to help me build a, a dollhouse also. Very nice. A lot of improvement, Miss Fu. All right. Let's have a little chit chat. Okay. The list, the list today. Okay. So just a reminder for you guys. Okay. Okay. Let's check on Henry's dialect number 12. Henry's 12. Henry's number 12. All right. Right here. Are you sure that Nancy will find this dollhouse with no doors and no windows prettier than the one that you broke? Now, I need you guys to pay attention to the word the instead of the, okay? Because, uh, okay, this is... T-H-E is pronounced as a the, okay? The one that you broke, okay? And then I'll have Henry's number 11, uh, 13. I am not trying to complicate, okay? The word complicate, complicate things, okay? Yeah, uh, you did tell Nancy that the new dollhouse will be better than the one you broke. I just want to remind you of your promise. Promise, the word, the other word, okay, here. Okay, so complicate and promise. Last one, guys, this. Okay, the word, uh, the uh, themes number 17. It will take us ages, ages, really simple, okay? Ages, okay? So as if like, uh, 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 like in Indonesian, we just uh, pronounce that uh, G as a J, okay? It will take us ages, H and 
Well, actually, when you pronounce that word as a singular, it's a lot, uh, a lot. It's not as easy as you pronounce the plurals. Okay, when it's a singular, you uh, pronounce it as uh, h. Meanwhile, for the uh, plural, you pronounce it as ages. So I think it's uh, the plural actually closer to uh, Bahasa. So it's a, uh, it's a lot easier, okay? So it will take us ages to trim those trees. Ages, all right, guys? That's it, very good, guys. Okay, a lot of improvement. Almost perfect. Well, very good. I believe you guys already review a lot, huh? Okay, now, guys, allow me. Okay, so this grammar of the chapter, we're learning about the future tenses, okay? Uh, there are four kinds of future tense that we'll learn in this chapter. Uh, the simple future tense, future progressive tense, future perfect tense and future perfect progressive tense, okay? So let me remind you guys again, future, future simple tense. For future simple tense, there are like uh, words that showing which uh, that the, the tense is a future, which is we're gonna use uh, the word will, shall or sometimes you, you guys gonna see some people using uh going to to be plus going to plus verb okay and then that's for the uh simple future tense meanwhile guys you guys have the we have also uh future progressive tense sometimes progressive is known as continuous so it's uh, the same like future continuous tense. Remember, future, we're gonna use the word uh, will. Okay, continuous is the verb plus ing. Okay, so the pattern will be like this. Will be, okay, okay. Pay attention to that, guys. So. Let me highlight this to make sure you guys understand. This, you can use shall or will plus the verb or another word, uh, another uh, another kind is the to be plus, let me write it, okay. Subject plus, plus, to be plus going to plus verb. Simple verb, okay. The 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 the, the root uh verb number one. Okay, be easier for you guys. Okay. It's all explained in the PDF that already sent by uh Mr. Tony, okay. So this is just a quick review from this uh, book first before we go to the uh, more uh, detailed one. Now, the next one, we have future perfect tense. Okay, future, remember, there's gonna be will. Perfect, there's going perfect tense. There's gonna be have or has. Okay, sorry, no has, okay? Because there's gonna be uh, will already. So we're gonna use have only. Will plus have plus the past participle verb, okay? Past participle verb is the verb number, uh, form number three. Next, we have the future perfect progressive tense. So the combination of number two and number three. So this is the pattern here, guys. Will plus have been plus the present participle. Okay, so the difference is like uh, uh, number three, the future perfect tense, the past part, we use the past participle. 
meanwhile here we use the will have this is a progressive so this is a verb plus ing okay this is not actually not present participle okay so Paul will have been exercising. So, will have been plus the verb. Okay, let me correct this guy. So, you guys. Plus the verb. Verb one plus ink. Okay, that's it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're gonna go to the exercise. So don't worry, you guys just gonna, you will understand more, okay? I'll help you guys, okay? Let's have another sharing here. Okay, there you go. Okay. This is the material, the PDF that I believe you guys already read, huh? All right, there you go, guys. Jadi future tense itu adalah bentuk tenses yang digunakan untuk me, untuk menjelaskan bahwa sesuatu itu yang terjadi di uh, di masa depan, okay? Dalam bahasa Inggris itu ada kata-kata will, shall, atau uh, uh, going to. Okay. Now, uh, I have the older description when we're going to use will, shall, or going to. Okay. Now, I'm going to give a quick uh, conclusion. Okay. But please read it again, okay, guys, because uh, I have all this already uh summarize here okay look now for shell usually will we you guys heard a lot okay usually for like um okay look at this to make a prediction to describe the future will be at the hotel until 8 p.m okay to make a prediction okay the world population will grow a lot in the next 50 years and then uh, to express a decision made at the moment of speaking, the phone rings and I'll answer it. Okay, so the decision made right then, okay? At the second that the phone rings, okay? Next, the will can be used to make a request. Will you bring some water, please? Okay, and then number, the next one, it's you can use to make promises or offers. I'll call you when I get home, okay? So you make a promise there, okay? Uh, we'll send you the goods as soon as possible. That's an offer. Then we're going to use will. And then let's see next one. You can use will. The next one, you use will to. To. Okay, to make promises. Hold on, okay, hold on. To describe the consequences of an action. Okay. 
Okay. If it rains, I'll take my umbrella. Okay. So the consequences of raining, then you're going to take my umbrella. Oh, will she come to the dinner if I invite her? Okay. Now, next one, we have the shell. Shell, usually, uh, it's barely used in uh, American uh, English. It's most in uh, British English. Usually used with the pronouns of I and we. Biasanya shell ini digunakan all, uh, dalam bahasa Inggris British yang untuk uh, subjek I dan uh, we. Okay. Uh, the first one to make offer also okay same like will we have offer offer but this here the offer is uh we can only use for a subject of i and we shall i make some lunch shall we help you with your bags okay so we we're not able we don't use this shell for she he it okay or they or we only for i and we next to make suggestion okay uh shall we go to the park later okay okay and then next one to make to express formal obligation applicants shall provide evidence of their qualification okay jadi yang ketiga ini adalah untuk menunjukkan uh, suatu kewajiban yang bentuknya formal okay Guests shall not remove anything from the rooms. Then next, to make a promise, same like will. Here, uh, we can make promise with shall. And then uh, here, on, always remember, I shall, I shan't, I shan't be late. Okay. Okay. This is a uh, uh, barely used, uh, shall not, shan't be late. Okay. I shall never forget to help you gave me okay here this is uh not correct okay because shall is only for i and uh, uh we okay and then next number e is to describe a future which is very formally we shall overcome this difficult moment okay now, when do we use, this is the conclusion, when do we use will or shall in general, okay? This is a quick conclusion here. So, hang in there, guys, this. Next one after the okay there. So shall is used for a more obligation, okay, and then a very formal statement, okay. Now uh, we have will, shall, and going to, okay. Now let's continue with the uh, quick de description and of going used how, when we you guys use going to, okay to talk about planned activity for the future. So here already uh, planned activity. Jadi penggunaan going to, itu untuk penggunaan suatu aktivitas yang sudah direncanakan. Okay. And then uh, kemudian will itu untuk sesuatu yang di, diputuskan pada saat momen tersebut. Kemudian uh, untuk uh, going to untuk uh, so untuk uh, selain untuk uh, uh, plan in the future, also for prediction in the near future, which you are already have the sign any uh, uh, that you are sure that it's going to happen. The probability of happen is uh, like big like that, more than fifty percent. She's standing at the edge of the cliff. She is going to fall. What is the problem? There are strange noises in the leaf. I 
I think the leaf is going to break down. Let's get out. Okay. I feel cold. Look at those clouds. It is going to rain. Okay, so it is going to rain because it's there is a sun, it's cold, and then the black cloud. So it's a probability is to rain is really big. Okay. That's when we guys use the uh uh going to. Okay, those are the same the wheel. Okay, so Okay, that's for the future, future simple tense, guys. Okay, future simple tense. Untuk penggunaan tenses future yang uh, yang uh, basic ya. Now we use will also when there is a word uh, believe, think. Okay, then you're gonna use that uh, uh, will. Ah, look at this, the, the conclusion here. Will, you are using for the spontaneous plans decided at the moment of the speaking. Okay, the, 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 bell, the bell rings. I'll open the door. I will open the door. Okay, so that's the spontaneous plan that you're decided at the moment of the speaking. Okay, there's no milk. I'll buy some when I go to the shop. And then going to is more for the plans that decided before the moment, okay? Jadi kalau untuk going to itu perencanaannya sudah di, di, dilakukan sebelumnya, sudah terencana. Sedangkan untuk will itu adalah untuk uh, sesuatu yang di, direncanakan pada saat momen tersebut, okay? And another thing is also for the, untuk uh, perencanaan itu adalah kita menggunakan present continuous. It, ini ini cuma tambahan ya untuk penggunaan perencanaan itu kita bisa juga menggunakan uh, present continuous tense which is used when the plan is already arranged and confirmed with at least one of the person and then we know the exact time and place okay i am meeting jane at eight o'clock on saturday now this is a future tense okay a future tense but in the using the present continuous tense okay Nah, jadi ini adalah suatu perencanaan untuk hari Sabtu. Nah, karena dia sudah confirm dengan Jane waktunya dan tem tem waktunya sudah uh, sudah pasti, kita menggunakan present continuous tense. Okay? I'm meeting Jane instead of I am going to meet Jane. Okay, that's we can use that. So, I am going to meet Jane at eight o'clock on Saturday. But it's more proper, more proper if you're using the present continuous tense. We're having a party next Saturday. Okay, the time is already planned. Saturday next Saturday. So we're using the present continuous there. Also, we use the present continuous to ask about some uh, someone's future plans. Were you doing anything? Are you doing anything interesting this weekend? Okay. All right. So that's for the future simple tense, guys. Okay. Now, uh, let's have the uh, exercise for the future simple tense before we continue with the rest of the tenses. So that way you guys don't get mixed up. Okay. Let me see which one. All right, here, exercise one here. Exercise one. Exercise one is for the simple future tense. When you guys are gonna use the wheel, are you going when you're going go or going to or when do you are you going to use the present continuous tense? Okay. okay hold on.
the screen is All right, there you go. Okay, that's exercise one. Let's try exercise one first, guys. Okay, let's see. Okay, I see new name here, Mahayani. All right, let's have Mahayani try, guys, okay? Allow me to unmute you, Mahayani. Okay. All right. Thank you for joining. Okay. Let's try number one. Uh, what times are you going to finish work on Monday? Okay. Your answer A, B, C. C. All right. So let's see here. Now let's con check on the sentence first or the question here. Okay. Now we have the word Monday here. So this Monday here already has the time, okay? The timetable, right? Okay, so something that refers to the future events that already has the timetable, like here, specific, then we are going to use the present tense, okay? Let's see. I think I have the explanation also. So anything with the timetable, you guys going to use the uh, uh, present tense. Let me see if I can find the explanation on this PDF. Okay, give me a moment. This is so just for you guys' information. Okay, if I'm not able to find this on the uh, on the screen here. So anything with the timetable like that. Okay, so we you guys going to use the uh, present tense. Okay. Because when you work like that, you're gonna have the schedule, right? Now this schedule is already time. So uh, the answer is the simple uh, simple present tense. So is Mahayani still here? Mahayani? Yeah. Okay, Mahayani. Yeah, the, the answer is, uh, what times do you finish work on Monday? Yes. So first, because this is a uh, table Monday, so you, you, you work, it's like, uh, it's, it's present like that so it's not like uh so anything that's timetable like that like school like work like that you we use the uh present simple tense okay remember okay 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 let me see what to do. 
So our answer is this. Okay, guys. Now let's continue with number two. Blah, blah, blah this weekend. One second, okay. This my screen is uh not working. Number two, I'll have Linda try, okay, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Okay, hang in there first. Let me reshare this. Okay, guys, hold it. Just one moment.
Okay, guys, sorry for the about the the inconvenience here. Okay, all right. So let's have Linda try to answer number two. Blah blah blah. This weekend. Okay. All right, Linda. Hello, Miss. Uh, this weekend. Are you going out this weekend? Okay, very good. So are you going out this weekend? Now, this weekend here is like we're talking about is a, a plan, right? A plan that uh, somebody is making it. So that's why we are using the are uh, go, the going, uh, I mean, uh, present tense like that, okay? Okay. Give me one second. Okay, so I also agree with uh, Linda because here this is an arrangement where the arrangement that we are that somebody is going to make for the weekend. So we are doing, we are doing, going, uh, sorry, oops, we are using the present continuous tense. Okay, very good. Next. Thank you. Number three, I am sorry I made you so angry. I blah, 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 eat again. A promise here, guys, talking about promise, okay? Linda again, miss? Oh, oh, I'm sorry, no, Linda. Oh, okay. Okay, Hold. thank you, Linda, hold on. Okay, this is going crazy. Where's my screen? Give me one second, guys. Let me close all this. Okay, number three, let's see. Okay, I'll have Ani, huh? Ani. I'm sorry, I met you so angry. I want to eat again. Okay, so it's a promise here. Since this is a promise, then uh, we'll use the will. Okay, instead of going to or, okay, a rest. Okay, so we use will. Now, will won't is will not. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ani. Okay, hold on. Let's continue number four. It's really hot. Blah, blah, blah. The window, please. It's a request. Request. I'll have. JJ. It is really hot. Will you open the window, please? Okay. Since it's a request, instead of going going to, we use will. Very good. Thank you, JJ. Okay. All right, let's continue number five, okay? I don't think I blah, blah, blah come tomorrow, okay? I don't think I blah, blah, blah come tomorrow. Number five, it's a prediction, okay? 
Let have Jin try to answer number five. I don't think I will. Um, I'm being able to come tomorrow. A. Okay. Number. Okay, it's a prediction. No, mm. on this we don't use. Mm. Hold on. Give me a second. We have ABC here actually. Okay, there you go. A prediction we use will. Oh, okay. I see. Yes, yes, yes. I know you didn't see that. See, huh? okay. So will okay. here. So will able to will be able to now able to is a verb. Okay. I am able okay. to go tomorrow. Okay. Now, able to is actually like a verb. Okay. So here we will be able to. Okay. Okay, miss. Okay, thank you, Jane. Let's continue with number six, guys. Okay, let me pull this number six. Six. Okay. All right. Hold on, guys. Okay. There you go. Where are you going? I blah, 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 something for dinner. Number six, it's a plan, okay? G -g. Oh, Miss Lily first, okay? Okay, there you go. Where are you going? I'm going to buy something for dinner. Yes. So right here, we are using going to because that's the, the, the plan that's made at the moment. Okay. So it, jadi bukan perencanaan wow. yang sudah dilakukan di masa lalu yang bersifat uh, 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 planned, uh, planned activities. Okay. So it's right then that they decide. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Miss Lily. Okay, next number seven. You can insist insist all you want. I blah 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 you. Kamu bisa memaksakan, tapi saya uh, uh, that's what insist all you want. So, kamu bisa memaksakan apa keinginanmu. And I blah 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 you. Tapi saya tidak blah blah blah. Okay. Number seven. I'll have Rudy. Yes, Miss. I try <coughs> to answer. <Sure. coughs> you can insist all you want. I don't help you. I don't help you. Okay. Now, since this is a well, this is the talking about refusal. Okay. Now, kamu bisa uh, memaksakan apa keinginanmu, tapi saya tidak akan membantu. Okay, so when you're talking about refusal, you talk we're using the will not will. Okay, you use will. Okay, now here is don't is not like us like a refusal. It's uh, it's I don't help means uh that's a condition that you don't want to have. Okay, now when you use the will, that's uh showing a refusal. Jadi men menunjukkan suatu penol penolakan begitu ya. So since we use will, uh, our won't. answer will be. I won't help you. Okay, very good. So remember when a refusal, we use a will. Okay, very good. Thank you, Rudy. Okay, number eight. 
are you okay, no sorry blah 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 doing that please i'm trying to concentrate Hold on, that's okay. Is not cooperate with us. A lot of it lagging here. Okay, my. Blah, 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 doing that, please. I'm trying to concentrate, okay? Number eight is us, is uh, talking about request. Request, I'll have Dian. Dian, try to answer number eight for us, please. Are you going to stop, to stop doing that, please? I'm trying to concentrate. Okay, now remember, okay, then going to usually for the plan that's already uh, uh, something as a, a plan activities they already made in the past, okay, so in the long run, like that, okay. So when you're talking about request, we're using the will, guys, okay, will. Oh, okay. So only going to only use for like a uh, the plan, the plan in the in the past. There's only two. You guys need to read again the for the uh, uh the uh, you guys need to read the PDF again. Okay, or only two kinds. Okay, the rest will be used for will most of them. Okay, so since our uh, this for will, uh, our answer will be. Can you stop doing that, please? I'm trying to concentrate. Yes. Okay. So uh. Well, uh, Mr. To uh, Mr. Tony, we have well uh, eight oh one already, guys. Okay, I need you guys to review again on the uh, PDF. Uh, next week we'll talk about this uh again. Okay, I want to make sure that you guys understand when we're gonna use the going to and then we're when we're gonna use the will. Okay. Also on the uh exercise two, we still continue with the uh future simple simple future tense when we're gonna use shall when we're gonna use will okay so i need you guys to review on that first okay so that way for uh you guys understand the when is the right time to use a uh, will going to or the uh, present continuous or the present tense okay guys because this is gonna help for you guys especially the one who's uh, planning to take any uh test like the TOEFL or anything like that okay IELTS or anything okay uh please read again I already uh I believe everything is on the PDF already okay guys uh I'll see you guys next week okay Thank you for joining the class tonight. Thank you. 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 Thank you.